Hey everybody, this is Kingpin PKR 316. I got my haul on Friday, so I thought I'd show you the books I got. This is the Alex Ross 75th anniversary cover, the all new X Men. This is number 27. They made uh, a Spider Man one that I have in, that's coming in the mail for, um, it was a variant cover for Amazing Spider Man. He's got a good one. I, I, it's not out of this series, but it's, it's still a nice cover. I liked it. Um,. In last month's solicitations was Captain America 22. That that it's very similar to to these types of covers. I didn't pick up the Avengers one yet. I'm uh, I'm still trying to find that one for a good price on eBay. And this month is the Guardians of the Galaxy one, which is really cool. So I'm going to be picking that one up. My second book, which I had dropped already, and it's not so much that I don't like it, it's just, it's a lot to get into, I read a lot of books, and it's, um, Charles Soule does a good job, but, so I'm, I'm not, not recommending this book, but I just, I read a lot of books, and to get into a new, you know, inhuman story with the, with the Terrigen Mist, and they, uh, there were two people, there was a brother and sister in this one, and they, they were going to cut open the mom's cocoon, and Medusa stopped them, and they're trying to get a, uh, a, a race of people together. It was just, it's a lot to read, so I'm not going to continue this. Um, this book is Nova 16, and I wasn't, this is another book that I just dropped. I, I, I think I picked it up at like 6 or 7. And I just, I think this is my last Nova book. It had Beta Ray Bill in it, and um, I just, I wasn't digging this as much. Now, this is an awesome book. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. And after, I liked the Trio Jean Grey, I don't know if everybody else did. I liked it a lot, but these two issues, 14 and 15, are awesome. I suggest anybody reading uh, that that is looking through books. Even if you're in a store, look through it and see if you like it. But I I thought it was great, like really good. Like I can't, you know, I can't wait for the next issue to come out. And uh, I don't want to spoil anything that's in it, but uh, it's really good, and I I really recommend that book. Anybody getting it? Um, this is Uncanny X Men 21. Uh, the X-Men you really don't have to say too much about. They have a ton of titles. I don't pick up X-Men, the old girl team, and I don't pick up uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, but I pick up Uncanny, I pick up Amazing, and I pick up all new X-Men. This is Daredevil number three. This is another good book that I'd recommend. He actually introduces a, an old villain that from a long time ago is... um. He's the Owl, and the Shroud is in this one, and it's uh, he was in the last one too, so the story continues. And this is a uh, this is a really good book. It's a nice twist that he goes to San Francisco, and it's it's just different. Now this is number fifteen to the uh, now I don't know why Captain Marvel's on the cover of this. To you know I don't think it's too much of a spoiler, but Captain Marvel's not in this book. I, I assume she's going to be in the next one because she's got to help save the Guardians of the Galaxy. But uh, this is, uh, like I said, for 14. It's a really awesome book. You should really pick up 14 and 15. It's awesome. Amazing X-Men number 7. Now, I was looking forward to this, but I was kind of disappointed. It's it's almost like a, a one-shot story, and I really didn't like the story that much. Because I'm a big fan of uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends from when I was a kid. And that's this is the, the three-man team that, you know, made that up. Firestar and Iceman, and I was kind of disappointed in this. I really didn't. Uh, I really didn't like this that much. This is Avengers number twenty-eight. Now I don't think I would drop the Avengers title. I pick up this. I really enjoy Uncanny X. Uh, I mean Uncanny Avengers, but I, I, I don't know that I would drop this. This is a little too. Like this whole issue takes place with um, Bruce Banner. And Tony Stark sitting at a table and Dr. Banner trying to get out of Tony Stark that he put the Illuminati together again. And the, the whole issue is them sitting at a table together and their conversation of going back and forth. And and, um, and it's pretty cool that uh, Dr. Banner 
has tranquilizers and he keeps giving himself tranquilizers the more mad he gets to not turn into the hulk after what tony stark's telling him and the team he's put together and everything else but uh you know it it, it was all right but it's very um there wasn't too much action so if you're not into that you might not be into this but you know it's you know it is what it is it's the avengers you you take the good with the bad if, if you're not into it this is a variant to Original Sin number one. I thought this was cool. I, I like the first cover, but I've seen this, so I, I picked it up. Something a little different. This is another copy. I got this for a good price. This is, uh, now I have two of these. The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the Ed McGinnis number one cover. I liked it a lot, so I, uh, I picked it up. Now this is the, uh, Michael... Diado, if I'm saying that right, this is the variant cover for issue two of Amazing Spider-Man, the new one, which I thought was pretty cool. Mary Jane's on the cover. She's got the Spider-Man tank top on. So uh, I I picked that up. This is the the actual cover to Amazing Spider-Man number two. I didn't get around to reading it yet. I, I you know, it's Amazing Spider-Man. I'm gonna pick it up whether I like it or not, really. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but hopefully it's good this is original sin number two i haven't read any of these yet and i haven't read my adventure tie-ins yet i have 29 and i have 30 which isn't i'm gonna look up the reading order and i want to get a few more of these before i get into this so i won't be able to tell you whether i like it or not until then uh, this is Magneto number four still a really good book i enjoy this a lot i don't pick up cyclops and i don't pick up uh storm but I do pick up Nightcrawler and Magneto. I like Magneto a lot more than Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, uh, Nightcrawler might be going soon. But this is Hulk number three. That's a really cool cover. Uh, I'm enjoying that book. This is the Thanos Annual. And there's going to be a book coming out in August that continues this story. And this is the, um, there was a Starling cover, a Lynn cover, and the regular cover. I picked up all three covers because I'm a pretty big Thanos fan. I, I I always liked how that was drawn. It reminds me of, you know, getting from back in the 80s. There's the other cover. Try not to move the camera around too much. Make people sick. And uh, this is the regular cover. Now, Wolverine, I'm not enjoying, to be honest. But there's like five more issues, and I'm just going to pick them up. I want to see how he dies. I'm sure I'm not spoiling that for anybody. Um, this is Uncanny Avengers number 20. I believe this is the, the conclusion of the, the Kang story that's in here. So, uh, so that should be interesting. This is Avengers number 30, the original Sentai-in. I haven't read that yet. Now, those are my Marvel books. We'll get these out of the way. This is Adventures of Superman number 12. This is awesome. This is a really neat twist on Superman. It's the issue's called The Demolisher. And uh, I really thought it was a great book. It's If nobody's picking it up, they really should. Now, this second book, this is uh, Nightwing number 30. This is a great cover, awesome cover. Um, I didn't like 26 through 29. I really didn't enjoy the story. If you're going to get uh, Grayson, Agent of Spiral, you should pick this up because it's kinda, this is like a prelude to how he becomes that and what he's doing. Uh, this is Batman vs. Bane number one. A really good, this is a good story that I enjoyed a lot. That uh, Batman comes back to take back Gotham City after Forever Evil. And uh, it's, it's a really good one shot. This is Justice League number 30, also a good book. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I think if you read in the last one that uh, Lex Luthor uh, figures out that Batman is Bruce Wayne, so that's a very dangerous person to have that secret. And this, uh, this story is really going to get good. This is Forever Evil 7. I just didn't. I didn't show this in my last book, so uh, hopefully everybody read that. It was it was a good ending. I like the ending. I like the story. Um, this is Supergirl number thirty one. This is also a really good book. Her being as powerful as she is, and she's got the power of the Red Lantern, 
and it's funny and i it's not in this one it's in 30 when uh they go to a planet and they kick all these bad guys butts and uh one of the, i don't follow red lantern that much so i don't uh the the bubble guy the guy who looks like a big ball uh i think he said you know it's scary how powerful it, she is and the other red lantern goes What's really scary is she's using her Supergirl power. She's not even like tapping in to the to the Red Lantern power. So you know, so this is I'm enjoying this a lot. I think this has a, a really good place to go if if they want to continue this story, and uh, I think it's pretty awesome. This is He-Man Masters of the Universe 13: The Origin of She-Ra. This is like a thousand years before um, before Attorney and Castle Grayskull. I, I I actually didn't enjoy this book a lot. I you know it was I wasn't into it, but uh, but I, I love He-Man. I like the story, so I'm going to continue to follow it. Uh, I'm glad they're bringing in She-Ra, and there's a lot you could do with her. Um, this is the Batman 66, number 11. I believe this is the 66 variant cover, which is really cool. You got Catwoman, you got the Joker, you got Batgirl. This is the original cover, that, that you know, the, the regular cover that comes with it. That's pretty cool. Um, I like this story a lot, The Hunt for Robin. I guess everybody knows Robin's coming back. This is Batman and Frankenstein. I read a few people's, uh, I watched a few people's videos, and they really didn't like this book that much. So we'll see what happens. Um, if I like it or not. This is the variant cover for that, the Batman 66 variant cover. Now, this book, I, I really don't like it all, and this is getting dropped soon. I, I keep saying that, but I keep ordering, you know, the, uh... I I didn't pick up the the next regular cover for this. I, I got the Batman 75th anniversary cover. But I don't know what they're doing with this, but they better change the pace of this quick. Because outside of this being Harley Quinn and her being the character, this book is terrible. And I really don't, I, I hardly say that ever. I just say, you know, the book's not for me. I just, this book is awful. And this is the, the cover for this. This is a really cool cover. That's the Holy Quinn they should bring back. They shouldn't have this one right here. The new 52 one. This is the Holy Quinn they should be using. Uh, this is Adventures of Superman 13. Uh, it's, they're all one-shots. They're really good. I enjoy them. Sleepy Reader 666 turned me on to this. And uh, it's an awesome book. I know there's a lot of Swamp Man fans out there, so this should be good. Um, Swamp Man's awesome. Being in the Aquaman book should be really good. This is Batman Eternal number 8. Sorry, this video is going a little long. I thought I would read some of the books before I just uh, started putting out videos of the books I got. If I read some of them, I could tell you if I liked them or not. This is Batman 31, the Zero Year Final Act. In the solicitations, the next book is the Zero Year, so maybe this is like a two-part final act. This is the Batman 66 variant for that book. This is Batman Eternal, number 7. Now on to the Independence. This is Tomb Raider number 4. I was a big fan of Lara Croft, and I would play the game on PlayStation and stuff, so I don't know if this is for everybody, but I like it a lot. This I haven't read yet. This is Trees number 1. I heard good things about it, though, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, Thief of Thieves 21. This is part 2 of The Hit List. And so I want to get a few more parts of this. I did read from one to, to 20, and I, I like this book a lot uh, as an independent book. I didn't like Revival that much, but I, I do enjoy Thief of Thieves. This is Deadly Class number 5. This is also another book I like a lot. It's pretty good. And this is part 8 of Star Wars, so I could read this now. And then on my next video, I'll tell everybody what I think of it. Um, I got two trades. I got Batman Deathblow After the Fire. This is by Brian Azzarello. They say if you like Joker, you know, and his writing in this. I, I didn't like Joker a lot, but I, I thought I'd try it out and give it a shot. And I got The Long Halloween. This is a new printing, so I could read Dark Victory. I got Dark Victory first, but I'll read this and then I'll read Dark Victory. Well, I hope everybody has a, a nice day. I hope everybody has a good Wednesday. Tomorrow's comic book day. I look forward to watching everybody's videos. 
and this video has been long enough. Thank you if you stuck with me. Um, I enjoy your comments. Comment below, good, bad, or otherwise. This is Kingpin PKR 316. Bye.